Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Harry Views back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 18.2 which is of course the latest release by Apple and it's coming out to the public really really soon. Now you can expect this update to be released in a couple of weeks from now. Most likely that will be around December 2nd. That's the report by Mark Grumman and we hope that it will actually be that date. So we're currently on the third beta. You can wait for another beta today. Most likely the next week will be the week of the RC version before we move on to the public release on December the 2nd or maybe even the 3rd. So in today's video we're taking a look at this update and I will show you guys 10 amazing new features that are coming to your iPhone with the new iOS 18.2. Now for the first feature on this video we're moving to the settings app. Now this is an amazing change that Apple has made. As you probably know with iOS 18 now we have a section here on the settings app dedicated for apps. But whenever you want to change a default app on your iPhone you would have to go here and just search for those apps on the list. But now you will have a dedicated section for apps for which you can actually change the default app. So you go to default apps right here and they will have all of your things so email messaging calling and call filtering right there then you will have the browser here the passwords and code contact list app and also the keyboards so for any of these you can just head on here and see your options so if you have third-party apps in this case for mail installed on your iPhone you can switch to them as your default mail app in this case I have Outlook right there and I can switch to that if I want to or you can change your browser directly from here so whenever you go here you will see a full list of apps that you have installed on your iPhone that you basically can change the default app or anything you want to that certain app and in my opinion this is one of the most useful features that Apple has added to the new iOS 18.2. Another great change that Apple has made with iOS 18.2 is the ability to have a volume slider for your media on your lock screen. Now the way to enable that is by going to settings and when you go to settings here head on under the accessibility settings and then find here audio and visuals and you will have the option to always show the volume control. You enable this which is again by default disabled and then when you go to your lock screen you will have your media controls but now you will also have a volume slider right here that allows you to easily now adjust the volume of your iPhone so you don't have to use the buttons here or you don't have to go to the control center to use the slider there. You can have now a dedicated slider just for the volume of your media. And when talking about volume you can now actually reduce the maximum volume of media on your iPhone. To do that you need to head on to your settings app, go to sounds and haptics and you will be able to actually now adjust the volume limit. You will have here something called built-in speaker then you have volume limit right there. Of course to adjust the limit you will have to first enable it. Once you have that enabled you will have the slider right here. So the minimum you can set is 20% and then the maximum here is 90%. So that's how you set the volume li limit for your media. Now, of course, if you'd want to disable that, you disable it here. And once it's disabled, that will all be gone and your volume is back to 100%. Now with iOS 18.2, Apple has also added new wallpapers for the Safari front page. So when you go to your Safari, you tap the edit button and then right here, background image, if you have that enabled, you will see we have six new wallpapers. You can see we have those arrows right there, which means that these are new and you will have to first off download them if you want to use them. So once you tap right there on one of them, it will be downloaded and apply to the background on Safari which again is pretty cool the option to have these wallpapers is actually quite cool. As you probably know by now iOS 18.2 brings chat GPT integration to your iPhone. Now what's really cool is that you can basically use that anywhere you can use Siri. So even within messages when you want to create an, Im an image if you want to send an image to someone you can actually do that from here and it will just place the image here. So the way you do that is just by asking Siri ask ChatGPT to create an image of a red car.
and in a couple of seconds we should have the image ready right here and as you can see it will automatically place it on the image field right there which means that all you have to do now is tap the send button and you can send that image to anyone you want and we're moving to the photos app we have a few different changes right here now this of course on ios 18 has changed a lot and a lot of people hate it some love it it's actually quite interesting but when you get like used to this app and you know how to customize it based on your needs it's actually not that bad now here we have a change when watching a video the video will always be on full screen whether you're showing the controls here or not the video won't actually zoom out it will always stay on full screen and the same goes for photos as well even though i think this is like more useful here when it comes to videos it's actually pretty cool another change here is the back button now you don't have that access button right there now you will have the title of the album in the middle and you will have a back button right there that lets you go out of that album and here's something really cool that apple finally did on ios 18.2 i think this is a feature a change that they should have implemented with the release of ios 18 but it's finally here with 18.2 and these are the icons on the settings all the icons on the settings app now will be customized based on the icons that you're using on the home screen whether you're using the dark mode light mode or tinted icons you will always have the same icons on the settings app and wherever you go right here you will have all these icons that are tinted and in my opinion this looks much much better than before where we just used to have the default icons no matter what you're using on your home screen and here is one of the most useful features of ios 18.2 you can finally have your downloads on safari on the dynamic island so you will have the download right there you can track it whenever you want you can expand this and you will be able to also stop the download from there you can also see the progress there which is really amazing not not only on the dynamic island you will be able to also see this right on your lock screen so there you will have the download as a of course a live activity it shows right there the progress and you will be able to also clear it anytime you want of course, with the new Apple Intelligence features, one of the most useful features are the writing tools. So the writing tools can be accessed right there from the button if you're on the Notes app or anywhere else when you select the text from the pop-up menu. But a change that has really basically upgraded the writing tools a lot is the ability to now compose so if i just swipe like this it says compose and now it moves to the chat gpt part of the writing tools and from here you can just ask chat gpt to actually compose anything you want you can even add something like an image or a file right here and it will compose something based on what you're adding and last but not least this is the last one on the video because it's not here yet but it, it is on the code of ios 18.2 and will most likely be out with the next debate us is the ability to see how much time you have left until you charge your iphone to 100 percent now i believe this will show the time based on the charge limit that you have on your iphone so it shows at 100 percent if you don't have a limit but if you have limited the charge which you can do from the settings app while going when going to the battery settings then it should show the time remaining until you charge at that limit that you have set but again it will show something like this on the lock screen letting you know how much time you need to charge your iphone now again this will most likely be one of the best new features of ios 18 but i just left it as the 10th on this list because it's not here yet but it has been found on the code and it should be here very very soon so that's pretty much it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed the video these are some of the coolest new features that you will get on your iphone with the new ios 18.2 so i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did smash that like button of course subscribe for more videos and i will see you on the next one